Giga Texas is still 31% complete, sadly, so here we go. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Yes, 31%, still 31%, but more 31%. This was a really tough week for Giga Texas. Sure, they had the New Year's holiday, but they also had an absolute deluge that soaked the site in ways I could not have imagined. The site became Lake Tesla. Concrete work was forced to stop entirely, since standing water and setting concrete go together like peaches and fisting. But the site was inundated. Whole days were lost, waiting for the rain to stop and the water to recede. And once it was safe for workers to come back on site, they had a lot of repairs and rework to address before even thinking about progress. So it actually went from 30.5% last week to 30.9% this week. 0.4% improvement isn't nothing, but if this was the norm, the site would continue to fall further behind schedule. If you like these analyses and want to stay in the loop, please subscribe because it's the only way YouTube knows to keep videos like these in front of you. If you work in construction and have feedback on these estimates, I would love to hear from you. You can look back at the previous installations in the series to understand the methodology and see the fuller frame of reference so far, understand the groundwork we have done, but the value of your comments from those folks in the industry just cannot be understated. At the same time, if you just want to gatekeep your bona fides as a hammer swinger, you're likewise free to keep that hot satchel of donkey duty to yourself. Because while you do have your areas of expertise, you still have to actually bring it to the table. Not just anger that some YouTuber is showing guestimath, but in ways in which the equation can actually be refined. We all have our areas of expertise. Mine is numbers, and while I'm not willing to bet a single life on them, my math has performed well above average in the past. If you look through my earlier videos, you will see that. So for clarity, my deadline estimates a finished factory as one that is going to be producing cars. In Shanghai, they went from closing off the sidewalls to first production in four months. Since 20% of my equation is classed as interior work, I remain confident that first production will begin around the time the completion date estimates. Fun fact, despite making dozens of videos and having over 1100 subscribers, my channel still isn't monetized, so the only support I've gotten for the 400 plus hours of time invested has come from my Patreons, and they're awesome. And they also enjoy additional content and a, a, a look behind the scenes. There are a few upsides to the pace of construction moving forward. One, they have a better understanding of groundwater mitigation, which should lead to reduced or eliminated downtime in the future due to rain. Two, more parts of the site have been fortified against the weather with better drainage and aggregate gravel added in places where it's needed. Three, the more of the site that's completed, the less of it that's exposed to the elements. Four, the number of cranes on site has increased to 20. And number five, the amount of building material delivered to the site has increased commensurately. Boy, that's a lot of big words. To heck with it. Here we go. Here's the math. And this week, at least, it ain't pretty. Having advanced from 30.5% complete to 30.9% complete, the projected completion date has slipped well into 2022. The current projected completion date is January 8th of 2022. That's a bigger slip from last week than the one suffered by the Western Drainage Ditch. And I do not expect this trend of delay to hold, but to reverse, as the last 14 days have seen two to five holidays, de depending on how many days each worker had left in their calendar year, two to three rainout days, and two to three days of 
undoing the damage from the rain. So if you want to look at this, here's the toggle from last week to this week, last week to this week, last week to this week. And just for fun, here is a slow ramp of all four weeks. Is it four? I think it's four. Four weeks, slow ramp in a loop. I expect that by the end of January, we'll be back on track for a completion in December of 2021, despite all these delays and apparent scope creep. Scope creep, as a reminder, is when the project gets bigger after it started and all the targets are set and it just keeps kind of growing and the deadlines are not supposed to change, but they have to. That's what scope creep is. I still have confidence that Giga Texas will produce its first customer delivered vehicles in 2021, though almost surely in the final quarter and probably in the final month. I may introduce some more advanced charts next week as the data starts to congeal into something that doesn't look like sheer chaos. So subscribe if you want to see it and stay tuned, stay juicy. And I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop.